Stanley and I have a new game. Let me show you. First, make your little snowball. Ready, Stanley? Are you ready? It. We're Kaylee and Lindy, and each week on this vlog, we take you behind the scenes to show you what our life is like as we grow our own food and develop our two-acre permaculture homestead. Since our homestead is currently buried under snow, we're starting in on some much-needed home renovations this week. Join us! I All right, what'd we get? Okay, um, well, um, a new drain for the main bathroom. New the drain! Guest Woo bathroom, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the hallway bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, that broke the other day. A track for the closet doors because Ooh. I lost the track it came with. Mm -hmm. Good, good. We'll find it someday. Nailed it. As soon as I put this on, I will literally find it in the shop yeah. or something. Oh, do you um, want to tell them what you're plugging the drain with currently in the bathroom? A Tupperware lid. Creative, right? Smarter, not harder. Baths are mm -hmm. important, kids. And what else? Um, the mechanics for a toilet. And we're fixing the toilet. What fun we are going to have. Buy a house, they say. It's fun, they say. It is fun, actually. And then hopefully we'll get the auger for the stove in the next couple of days, and we'll get that fixed, too. All right, so it would appear we're starting with the bathtub, which is, ooh. I'm gonna need not looking good. the folks. garbage. Can I help by standing in your light a little bit more? No, you're doing a good job. Right, okay, I could like, seize that better maybe? Really lean into it. Oh, very good. Not really. Where's the weight? <laughs> oh, sh. Well, that would explain why it's no longer locking. So, does that mean? So, there should be a little weight dangling off of that. And that's what actually closes down the plug. What do I do? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a plumber. Huh. Well, it probably has never been replaced, you know. lifting it oh are you so if i got something could i like i wonder if i could... i wonder if we could rehook it yeah dude i have no idea how i'm supposed to get to that do you think there's a youtube video for this <sighs> be great if there was so we may or may not have lost the little weight down there it didn't come out with the little stick like it was supposed to. Basically, this fun little thing sticks down here, has a little weight on the bottom. But that hook, yeah, nope, that's not a very good hook. Maybe we need a little bit more of a hook shape. Um, so anyways, it's supposed to have a weight at the bottom. It sure didn't. So that's a problem. Make a little hook. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Hook it. Like we're going fishing. 
gone fishing. Don't make it too hooky. It's gonna be hard to hook it on. Your face is too hooky. Well, I'm just saying the other hook wasn't very hooky. Like that's gonna be too hooky. Your your face is too hooky. Did it? You got it? Yep. Oh my gosh, this is so much better than fishing. <gasps> Did you get it? Oh, I just dropped it. Oh. and so shiny. Let's see if it stays. Good work, my little plumber. One project down. Now that we're doing them at like eight o'clock at night. Welcome to our bathroom, our other bathroom. So Lindy, what's our next project? <laughs> Figure out how to move this thing. <laughs> She's super excited. So we have to move this fun thing, which is over the toilet, so that we can fix the toilet that won't stop running. So we just redid the toilet in our other bathroom not even a month ago, and probably a week later, this one started having issues. I don't think anything in this bathroom actually works right now. The sink was terrible. I'm going to be redoing it. Yeah, the toilet is a mess. The shower has a leak. So this is probably going to be our next big project. But for right now, we're just gonna fix the toilet and we at least got the sink somewhat draining, so. so what we have to do now is drain all of the water out of the tank. We are disconnecting the water lines. <laughs> that seems to be the problem, boss. Um, it's stuck. Of course. Of course it is. <sighs> Just broke. It just broke. Cool. That's not supposed to happen. So we decided to call it quits for the night. Both of the screws. The screws. The screws are stripped. Yep. That. God help us. But yeah, we're just going to wait until morning, call it quits for tonight because it's already kind of late. We still need to go put the animals to bed and everything. So yeah, we're just, we're going to pick this up in the morning. How you doing? So good. Are you? Yeah. Are you okay? So good. I feel like you're not okay. Don't. <laughs> don't what? Don't destroy the bathroom, please. I don't have to. It destroyed it itself. Mm -hmm. I will simply just clean up the mess mm -hmm. by ripping it all out mm -hmm. and starting over. Mm -hmm. Anywho, we'll see you in the morning. When I woke up this morning, found everything in place. The birds were singing pretty songs. The sun kissed me on my face. It feels so good to be alive. It feels so good to see the light. I got this sudden feeling like now's the time to start. I got a big idea in my head. I got a dream down in my heart. And I'm praying that you'll help me now. I'm praying that you'll show me how. you can be
be You gotta keep the truth in your heart Believe when you can't see You don't see the sign Give it time Won't reach the top without the climb It's a nice morning and it's so much warmer Hold than on. it has you been. Need to turn off Reba. Oh, geez, let me... The good stuff. It's so much warmer than it has been, which is amazing. It's melting. Yes. So everything's finally starting to melt back. The water and the faucets weren't frozen this morning. So that's nice. Um, we're just kind of having a lazy morning, playing with the puppies and the animals. Possibly starting on breaking the bathroom throwing that out there. I'm scared. I'm excited. Lindy really wants to break the bathroom and I just don't know that I have that in me. Let me do it for you, babe. Let me help I'm you scared. help me. I'm scared of how that's going Let to turn out. Let me help out. you help me help you help me break things. I have plans. I know you can break them. No, and I have plans. We can do it in stages-ish. Well, we have I'm to so do it excited. in stages or we can't afford it. Well, yeah, but... So we basically do all of our renovations just with the extra money that we have. So on months where we have a little bit of extra, we do some projects. This is probably why we never have extra money, but have you seen the house? I mean, it's coming along. And also right? broken, so we should break it more. That's to make true. It get better yeah, faster. so let's focus on if you can finish all of the projects on the list today. If we can get through those, then maybe we can think about breaking the bathroom. Oh, I'm already thinking about but breaking first, the bathroom. Maybe we should get in the hot tub for a little bit. Mm. Mm. Yes, it's so warm and cozy. I mean, we can. She never wants to. Oh, she's pouting. Fine, we can do it. You're real cute. <laughs> <laughs> Just for like 10 minutes. That's fine. Just to warm up. That's fine. Drink our coffee. Okay. And we're getting other coffees. So we'll drink this coffee and then we'll get the other coffee. Okay, fair. Yay! Oh my dear, I wish to lead a country life. Hard work, low wages. These days. What if I sneak up on the camera? Do you think it's. I think it does. Do you think it tastes good? You need to go. Yeah, yeah, you would have to like. <laughs> okay, so there's a toilet tank cover on my bed. That's good. There's an organizer in the hallway. And this is the bathroom. So super messy right now, but we have the little shower in the back, the broken toilet, the dresser with the terrible door that's always in the way. Again, super messy right now because half of it's in my bedroom, including the toilet tank, which is sitting on our bed. Can we maybe like not put this on the bed? Sure. Okay, that would be lovely. I'm just gonna put it over here on the floor instead. Because ew, ew. All right, explain what we have going on here. But we have stripped screws. I'm not going to this. Oh, well. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was extra special. Yeah, so now that we've had coffee and some food, and you're feeling a little better about this project, we're going to try and get the screws out. Basically, we have to remove the tank so that we can fully remove all of the, I don't know, accoutrements that are inside the tank. <laughs> the right all of those jibber jabbers I'm have to go. I'm also concerned about my coffee. Can you just watch oh, that geez. for me? <laughs> that but everything is rested and stripped, so we're going to try to drill out the screws. <gasps> Famous last words. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, geez. There we go. It's 
Something just hit my face. You broke your drill bit. Did you break the drill bit? Yes, I broke okay. the drill bit. Do you perhaps want to use those ones that I bought you that are made for this purpose? That's not what they're for. They're to get stripped screws out. This, this would be exactly the same. stripped screw. It would work the same. No. Fake news. Fake. Man, mm. I'm really irritated by this. Do you think we should? Oh, guys, guess what we're doing? We're at our favorite place. Well, one of store. Them, the home of the depot. <laughs> well, hardware stores in general. Valid. Hmm. Wait, should we restart? Is my face messed up? I just had something on it. <sighs> okay. Uh, we're going to go buy a toilet. I've never bought a toilet, and I feel like Yay. this is the most adultiest adult purchase that you could, <sighs> you could do. Yeah, so we couldn't get the bolts out of the other one it's just all rusted into one giant solid piece i'm sure there's a method there's not there. i googled it well if google said so then well i, I guess mean there's, there's not. methods but i tried the methods and then i broke the bowl not bad yeah. broke but like broke yeah so now the porcelain may also be broken so we're gonna buy a toilet today how exciting this is my purse. not what I planned on our oh, yeah. new year looking like, but you know what? Day two, here we are buying a toilet. Well, that's where you messed up. You just never know. Don't have expectations. You never know where the year's going to take you. To buy Sometimes a toilet. it takes you to the toilet aisle. And that's where we're going. My nose itches. I must going to kiss a fool. Uh-oh. Come here, baby. Aw. <laughs> All right, let's go buy a toilet. Which one? That one? Why? Because it brings me joy. Did you touch it? Joy. You... Okay, there we go. <laughs> this one can apparently flush <laughs> pool balls. That's good because we have to flush those a lot. And that will flush seven. These ones don't bring me joy. Seven one, of them. That one brings me joy. I like the shape of that little round one there, though. That little guy. It doesn't bring me joy. These just look like toilets. They all just look like toilets. I don't care. A rag and putty, a level, and sealant tape. Do we have those things? We do need to get putty. So does that mean that this comes with the little ring? Do you want some help? <laughs> I would love to help you. No, it's fine. Look how fine. strong you are. It's fine. Everything's fine. Good. I'm so glad. It's fine. Fine. It's fine. Because that's what we need. All right. That's fine. There's no proof. Oh, wait. You're like, I'm a professional. Good work. I regret nothing. Oh, this is starting to escalate. So we just managed to flood the whole floor while trying to get the toilet out. I'm trying to get my boots off now. So everything's a mess. It's going well. I 
feel I'm feeling like it's going to be a bit of a shitty year based upon what's happened so far. Your hunch is incorrect. <sighs> I like that positivity. Yeah, we just flooded like the whole the whole bedroom. Of course, the crack right be between where the floor is unfinished and all the molding. So it went underneath all the molding and everything. So yeah, we're doing good. Turn the water off. off. I know. Oh. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a functioning first toilet. flush. Are we, we don't ready? Go yet. Okay. Ooh. Yep. That was faster for us to go buy a new one and install it than it was for how long I tried to drill through that. Yep. Wow, what an accomplishment. Something that's been really helpful when we have a lot of different projects going on, like we usually do, is the project brain dump page in the Rooted Life Planner. So I'll put the link below. This is the planner that we designed. Um, okay, mostly me, but Lindy definitely contributed a bunch of ideas to it. And this is basically just a giant ongoing list of all the projects that we need to get to. So this is each month we're able to fill it out and carry over from one month to another the projects that we didn't get to. And what I like is it has a spot for if it's in progress and then once it's completed. So I can kind of look and see how many projects we have going on. And sometimes we'll get a lot of projects started. And if I have a bunch of those checked off where it's in progress, then I kind of know we need to get caught up on what we've already started before we're starting a lot of new projects. Um, there's also as a place to kind of prioritize what's the highest priority, whether it's low, medium, high priority, if it's a time sensitive one. So that's nice too. I haven't filled it out yet this month because it's only the second. So this has definitely been a lifesaver for us. Um, so again, I'll put the link below if you're interested, if you wanna see the rest of the pages that are in here. But if nothing else, make yourself a list and make sure it's in a place where you won't lose it, where you can transfer it from it every month and kind of pull over to a new list. And it's definitely helped us keep track of all these crazy projects. Can't say that we're any more <laughs> like better at getting them done, but it definitely helps us keep track of everything. Stanley. Hi. Are you sitting in the dark? Yeah. Reading instructions? I am. Maybe you should have read the instructions before you turned off all the lights. So in addition to everything else we're doing, we thought it would be fun to also replace the vent fans in the bathrooms. Neither one of them works, so it's time, but. That makes, that makes sense. This, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Are you okay. hungry? I was just gonna check. Yes, I would eat food. Because I'm getting a little hangry. Yes, I will eat food. Okay.
I'm gonna go make the fried rice. Okay. Do you need help? Um, do you wanna go flip the breakers downstairs for me real quick? Which ones? The only two that are off. Okay. And then stand there until I say, we're good! Okay, do you want me to do that now? Yeah. Okay. So I'm cooking dinner in the dark because in this old house, they thought it would be really fun if they like mixed up which rooms are on the same circuit. So oddly enough, the kitchen is on the same circuit as the master bathroom. Okay, I got a little headlamp to use. Um, so here we go. This is like spooky cooking. It's like when you're telling stories around the campfire, but you're cooking good fun. So I'm gonna make some fried rice in the dark and during the winter time we use a lot of our frozen vegetables. So what I do during the summer is I will blanch them and then vacuum seal them and freeze them. And I just find that they're so easy to pull out in the winter. We still have our garden fresh vegetables, which still have a lot of nutrients. Yes, they do lose some in the blanching and the freezing, but overall compared to a lot of other things, they're still really nutrient dense because we're picking them when they're at their freshest and they're grown in healthy soil. So we're still getting a lot of value from these, even though they're frozen from summertime. So our canned, dehydrated, and frozen veggies really get us through the winter. And plus you get those veggies that you don't really get during the winter time, like your corn and your peas and things like that. Um, yes, we still have greens that we grow pretty much year round. We have more root veggies, things like that. But sometimes it's just super nice to be able to go to the freezer and pull out a bag and be able to use it right away. So I'm going to throw in some peas that we grew, some carrots, and some corn. I know corn's kind of weird in fried rice, but it's just another veggie to add to it. And then I have some chicken as well that I thawed out. So this is our homegrown chicken that we process, and we usually freeze them whole. Um, but sometimes throughout the year, we'll pull them out and we'll cook them, and then actually pull the meat off the bone and basically put it into like one or two pound bags. And so that way it's really nice and already portioned out for meals like this. So yeah, I'm gonna get to cooking in the dark. Lindy just turned the lights on. Yay! We got our garlic chopped and then the, everything else is thawed out except for the carrots. This is a larger bag, so I only wanted to use half of it and I actually like to chop them down for the fried rice. So it's easier if they're frozen actually to chop them up. So I'm just gonna pull some out and get those chopped. But this is such an easy recipe. It's so easy to just pull everything out of the freezer, let it thaw and throw it all in. Did you do that? Nope. The power just went off again, but this time it wasn't us and it's the whole house. Apparently a car hit a pole. So here we go with our headlamp again. We're gonna make this dinner one way or another though. It's happening, oh, it's happening. I guess I should mention our stove is propane so I can still cook. Woo, can never have too many lanterns around, you know? This one's cool because it has magnets and little hookies. I love these things. We use them camping all the time. Well, back in our younger days when we would go camping. Now we just go farming. I have this kohlrabi that needs to be used. So I think I might grate this up as well and throw it in, why not? So before I can grate it, I need to peel it. I just like to use a veggie peeler, but they can have pretty tough skin sometimes. So the nice thing about kohlrabi is that they're very cold hardy. 
And so this one I harvested probably a couple weeks ago and they keep really well in the fridge. Honestly, it's probably been, I'd say two to three weeks since I harvested this. So they store really well, but they also do really well in the fall and winter garden. It's definitely one of my go-to crops for that. And I still have some actually out in the garden right now. We'll see if they survived all this snow and these extra cold temperatures. Um, but a lot of times they do really well in it. Okay, so I just put some lard in the bowl. So we have our lard that we rendered last year and I have a bunch of it, which is fantastic. So I'm just heating that up and I'm gonna throw my garlic in. We'll just let that sizzle. And we're gonna put our carrots in. They are still a bit frozen, so they get to go in first. Right. Add in the rest of our veggies. And our corn, just for the fun of it. And then I'm just chopping the chicken breast into pieces and tossing it in as well. Just get that all warmed up. I had actually made some eggs yesterday and we didn't eat them all, so I'm just going to throw those eggs in. What's great about this is essentially all of this is from our farm. Everything pretty much except for the rice and like the coconut aminos or the soy sauce is from our farm. Fried rice is always best with leftover rice. I don't know why, it's just a thing. It just tastes better. All right, so we're just gonna simmer this, let it all cook together. This already smells so good and I don't even have sauce in here yet, but we're gonna add that next. Sometimes I'll just do soy or the coconut aminos. If I have rice vinegar, that's always really good. My favorite thing to add has been our chipotle apricot sauce that we make every summer. This is actually the last one that I have from our tree in Idaho. So our apricot tree was the bane of our existence. It was massive. We loved and hated it all at the same time. But this recipe is delicious. It's in the Ball Blue Book of Canning, Chipotle apricot sauce. So it's got that like sweet spiciness to it because it has red pepper flakes and oh my goodness, it's so good. And then you get the sweet hints from the apricots. So good. I wish you could smell this, but you can't. We're just gonna pour that in. That's my secret ingredient. It almost gives it like an orange chicken type of flavor. Oh, it's so good. Just believe me on it. I'm going to add just a few more red pepper flakes. We like our things a little bit spicy around here. Oh, this is gonna taste so good. So then we just let it heat through. I always feel like winter is the time of like really easy cooking because you do the work all summer long. And then in the winter, you just get to pull everything out and throw it in and it's, it's so nice <laughs> to know that you've already done all that work and then you've got a couple months to just take it easy and really enjoy it. And that's what we try to do in the winter with our food. All right, time to put the kohlrabi in. I put it in very last just so it stays a little bit crunchy. Okay, taste test. See what you think. Mm-hmm. Ready? Would do. Okay. It's ready. Mm, so good. Look at our romantic dinner next to our toilet plumbing. Who says we don't make time for romance? Really loving the chicken. Mm, I knew you would. That's why Burr. I put it in. Okay, you can't say bar through every sentence that we try to say for the camera. We're going to eat our dinner. Our romantic lamp lit dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Lindy's going to say burr 55 more times at least. That's a solid 100% chance mm -hmm. of happening. Yep. So 
and we'll see. Maybe there will have power tonight. Maybe we won't. So the power's still out, and it's not supposed to come back on for like three more hours that we know of. Yeah, that we know of. That was the last update, but we don't have service <laughs> to anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, so all of our texts, calling, internet, everything, so goes completely away when there's no power so even like our text and calling gets really sketchy because we do m like primarily wi-fi calling and even our texting is reliant on wi-fi because we're in a dead zone so we can sometimes get like messages out um and check updates a little bit so that's how we found out about the restoration time that's apparently scheduled but nobody's been assigned yeah there's no crews assigned to it so it might take longer it might take shorter who knows what would be great is if we had a wood stove. Yes. Wouldn't that be lovely? Yes. Yeah. Times like this, I really miss our wood stove. And again, another reason why having a backup one would make so much sense. We can still use the pellet stove for its convenience and, and you know, its efficiency. However, when we need to have a wood stove, we would have one. Yep. So I think we have a plan um, to get the chimney working the old chimney obviously needs to be inspected and then there actually is a wood stove that used to be downstairs it's an old one so again it needs to be inspected we need to make sure it's actually safe and can still be used but if it can fingers crossed we could bring it in and put it up here and just have it at least for now eventually we can replace that with my nice baking one it's got like an oven and oh my gosh it's so nice so eventually we can get there, but this would solve a lot of problems a lot sooner. It's true. And I just wanted to be warm. Lindy may have said burr. How many I should have been counting? I don't even think we can count that yeah, high. Yeah, blankies. We're good. So we're just going to snuggle up. This is not how I saw my night going. No. So basically our projects have pretty much been cut short, but... At least we got the toilet done. It's true. And we got the other bathroom fixed. It's true. All right. So we're going to go enjoy. Enjoy what? Enjoy our nice dark evening. Cheers. We have champagne from New Year's and hot water. So we have some tea. My phone's going to die and it's not like I can charge it. So yeah. We'll yep. see y'all next week. We can stay.